Hello everyone, Big Friendly Wargamer here, uh, and you'll never guess what's turned up at last. It has been two and a half months since I received any of this. Um, so these are issues 71, 72, 73, 74, uh, leaves, leaving six issues left. There's also something extra that I'm going to unbox as well. That'll be in a different video, uh, so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is set my camera up on my tripod, which is there. Uh, turn the lights on and get get unboxing. Uh, it has been a while, so it may be a bit different to what I did before, because frankly I can't remember what I've done before. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, I will get to unboxing right now. Right, so here we are. We've, we've uh, got the camera set up and uh, back to the Russell Russell bags. Issue 71. So as I always do, it'll be the models first. Most important part of the magazine. If I get the bag open. Right, so as you can see, brown spruce, so it means it's terrain. Um, now this is the second part of a terrain kit that I, I received uh, obviously back in December or November whenever it was. This is the tracks and the, the crane for the servo haulers. Um, I've got a set of these already uh, but I don't mind having a second set, they'll be fine, I'll use them, I'll get them painted. I've actually been painting terrain so it's, this is quite good. Um, as you can see this is, this is the big the actual big crane, which is here, here, and here. This is the the um, the thing that holds it. Uh, the, the little tractor units go on the front. Um, various skull bits, obviously, and claws. Uh, it's it's basically a crane. Um, so yeah. So issue seventy one. So I actually got to say, it's in a, these are in a lot better condition than they had been being delivered. They're not creased, they're not de uh, damaged or anything, so that's good. Um, to straight into the issue, they're talking about Storm Talon gunships. Now I do actually own two of these, which aren't painted, but I should get around to painting them at some point. I just don't really use flyers in my games, so there you go. Um, showing you the actual picture of the model. Um, that's obviously all, oh, but let's move that over a little bit. So that's it in a Raven Raven Guard colours, that's it in Ultramarine colours. Um giving it different giving them different names. Um moving on, talking about the Dukari Dukari. It's a Dark Elder. Um now Games Workshop have gone through a stage of renaming their stuff because they don't want it to be similar to anything else. Um let me just zoom out a bit, that'll help. Um, so like the orcs in, in Age of Sigma are called Uruks now, they're not called orcs. Um, they don't want their IP being tied to any other fantasy range. Okay. Uh, talking about the, the Cabals, which are the different um, like family groups of the Dark, Eld uh, Dark Elder. Uh, Homoculus Coven, which is a, a small group of like, they do um, experiments on other creatures and the witch cults who are basically the gladiator fighters um, they fight in arenas and they fight on the battlefield and showcases some of the models um, I'm actually going to be having one of these to, to make us terrain because it is badly damaged so I've just got to pick it up at some point um, now I've never been particularly keen on the Dark Elder range apart from the Incubi who are the guys, I'm sure they've got a picture of one here. No, they haven't, which is strange because I quite like the Incubi models. But oh well. Um, then going on to building your Sex and Mechanicus crane. It's quite a big kit. Makes that rather sizable thing. It is quite big as well. It is about that wide. So, it's quite a nice kit. A uh, bit weird that they sprayed it red, but fair enough. I think they sprayed it silver first. 
Uh, I don't know. But it, it's nice because I find, uh, find that if you spray everything silver, then your battlefield looks very mono, monotone. Um, so yeah, some of my, my stuff is like cream colours, some has got blue, some will have red now, so. And it looks something like that when it's finished, which is quite nice. Um, talking about building your armies, and um, this is in the advanced rules, creating detachments. Now detachments are quite important because it allows you command benefits. Um, if you just take your army however you feel like, and it's not in a detachment, you lose all your command benefits. So it is kind of important to do this. Now this is your basic, this is your battalion. This is what I would say probably 80% of the people you, who play 40K you'll see using. Uh, now there's things in red and things in gray. The red things are required that you, you have to have. So shows the skull there the skull means hq choices you've got the arrow is ta is uh troop choices the cross is the elites the lightning bolt is fast attack the kind of like explosion thing is heavy support and then the thing with the wings is uh flyers um and it's also you can have transports for every unit as well um so in a battalion you are required to take two hq and three troops and then you can take a load more of anything else you want so you can take another three troops you can take an additional one HQ take up to six elites three fast attack three heavy support and three flyers so each of them if you want can also have a transport dedicated transport so say I'm space marines uh, I could take a librarian a captain uh, a scout squad two tactical squads and then I can put two or take two rhinos to put the tactical squads in so Building um, armies can be a bit confusing, but once you get into it, it'll be fine. Uh, this is a Battleforged army roster. Um, people don't generally use these. They're good for something like the tournament where you've got to hand a list in, but in, in normal play, when you're up to play and pick up games, that's not really necessary. Um, giving you rules for the terrain, the big crane. Obviously, they, they've painted this one yellow. I don't know why they bother doing showing you how to paint it red and then paint it yellow, but it's it is what it is. Um, showing how you can take cover behind the terrain, um, and then uh, moving on to the mission, defending Omnus, I think it's called uh, the mission, mission briefing, and uh, the high ground is the mission. Um, I still want to play through all of these missions at some point. Um, whether I do or not I don't know uh, but we'll see so that's issue 71 on to issue 72 now as much as I've been waiting on these they're not that important to me you'll see why in a moment now, Green Sprue, obviously it's Death Guard. Um, and these are the Cow Spawn. And the reason why I say they're not important to me is because, one, two, three, and four. I've already got four of them. Um, now, you can take squads of up to five of them. So I'll probably build another one and then add this in. Um, to the squad of five and then actually get painting on these because they, they've been like that for a while now uh, but the fifth the sixth one I don't know what to do with um, issue 71 um, straight into talking about cow spawn uh, yeah S saying it's under death guard is a bit deceiving spawn can basically be taken by any cows faction uh, so the Black Legion can take spawn. Uh, any other Cow Space Marines can take spawn. I don't think demons can. Or they might be able to, I'm not sure. But yeah, Death Guard is what's in these magazines. So um, so talking about Nurgle Cow Spawn. Uh, they're giving names to some of them. Although I wouldn't even bother going as far as giving them names. There you go. Basically Cow Spawn are... 
uh, when the Gods of Chaos have given a load of gifts to a, a champion and it's gone so far that their body's lost control of those gifts and they turn into jabbering idiots they're called Spawn um, talking about Gene Steeler Colts now Gene Steeler Colts is also a little army that I collect I haven't got a lot of them they go alongside my Tyranids uh, as you can see the whole how Tyranids work with the Gene, with Gene Steeler Colt it showcase the models I have this model but unfortunately he snaps off his base but there you go more showing you what you what sort of models you get with a Gene Steeler Cult. Um, talking about Stormhawk Interceptor, which is the alternate kit build from the uh, Storm Talon. Um, now I do have one of these as well. Um, now Blood Angels, uh, until this edition, couldn't use these. Now they can. I can paint them red. So I, I will, might get round to this one of these vehicles at some point but we'll have to see uh, and they're basically uh, interceptors they are uh, your anti-flyer flyer, flyer. Uh, whereas the storm talon is more the attack uh, your gunship attacking ground targets um, showing you the imperial fist colors uh, salamanders and that's the raven guard and obviously showing you as ultramarines and then how to build your cow spawn, which I don't know why they even put this in here, because you build your cow spawn as you feel like building your cow spawn, because they are very, very random. Um, but yeah, I suppose they had to, because people would be like, well, where's the might to build thing? But there you go. Um, and like I said, you can build them in any way you feel like. Um, like, like I showed you, mine are all, all different. Showing you how to paint them, obviously. Um, now, I'm not following this. I'm painting mine how I wanted to paint them. I'm basically painting them like the flesh on the Poxwalkers. Uh, so it looks like they're Poxwalkers who have, their mutations have gone out of control. Um, so, yeah. And I quite that looks quite cool. But mine won't look anything like that. Um, they're talking about Grandfather's Gift, uh, which is... Grandfather Nurgle, um, he, did I miss the page there? No, I didn't. Um, and that's the mission Hunter Spawn. Uh, it's basically going to be Space Marines trying to catch uh, Cow Spawn. Uh, well, or kill him, rather. Um, data sheet for the Spawn. Um, yeah, quite basic there. And, uh, Nice uh, advert for Warhammer stores. And on to issue 73. Now, got two paints in here. Um, so you, you've got Nylac Oxide, which is a technical paint. Um, it kind of gives everything like an oxidized look uh, and then you've got what is that uh, Nurgle's Rot which I don't think I've got that I don't think that's a paint I've got so now going to my collection uh, issue 73 uh, talking about Imperial Knights uh, Imperial Knights are really big models um, they're not something you would want to get as a, as your first collection of models because they are so big and they're Quite difficult to build. Um, talking about the night households, showcasing the knights. As you can see, like they're they're fairly big models. Um, and that's one of the um, special knights. I think it's a character model. Um, talking about the space, the codex space rings and the heraldry of the ultra rings. So obviously, so for example, with this, that's the chapter marking. That's the squad marking. So this this will be the arrow points him out as a, a tactical marine, and the three is the third squad. Now sergeants would be red helmets, and they'll have a red skull in there, but they've got the same markings otherwise. Um, and then the veteran sergeants go one step further and have the white stripe down the helmet. Um, veterans have white helmets. Uh, lieutenants have red and white helmets with. Uh, 
the skull in the um, in the spiny circle. I can't remember what it's called. And then the captain's more, more specialised Imperial Fists. So showing you an Imperial Fish different companies. Um, and then just showing you a basic idea of uh, what they use. That, so that'll be a Dark Angel squad, a Devastator squad. That'll be Imperial Fists. See, they. Sorry, I got that wrong. That's Battle Lines. So that'll be tactical squads. They'll be, say, veteran squads. These will be close support. So, like your Assault Marines. These are fire support, which are heavy, your Devastators, and then command units. Um, going on to talk about Space Marine Infiltrators these are quite a new unit they haven't been out very long um, and you don't get any of these in 40k Conquest so um, yeah and all the chapters have them and then their new the new troop choices you can take the Incursors again fairly new um, unit cho choice and they're showing the Blood Angel ones, I believe. It looks like Blood Angel markings to me. Um, then they're moving on to applying different, uh, more colours to your Death Guard. Um, so again, that, you've got Rack Off Flesh, um, which is weird they've done Rack Off Flesh because you don't get that in this issue, unless you're into. But oh well. Uh, showing you how to use the Nilac Oxide, so as you can see it weathers the gold a bit. I won't be using that on mine. Although I did, I have actually used it on the smoke on some of my um, Terminators. Nurgle's Rot. So, whereas I, this is Lord Feltheus, uh, I, I worked mine up to a very strong, like glowy, greeny yellow. They said use Nurgle's Rot on it, so it's the same as that, basically. And completing your Death Guard. Um, so, with the Death Guard, you're not actually very far away from having your collection finished now. The Spawn, you've got one more issue, which will be the next one. It's got the Talion in it, and that's it. Um, Space Ring Stratums. Now, I don't know how valid these are, because Ultra, uh, Space Rings have had an update quite recently. So... I'd have to check on them. Um, examples of using stratagems. Uh, talking about Death Guard stratagems. But not actually... Uh, okay. Only showing one there. Oh, there's the others. Okay. Um, and then, mission is called Wasteland Ambush. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, and uh, convoy ambush. So you ambushing the convoys, I assume the space rings will be the yeah the death guard and the attackers. Space rings are the convoy. And on to issue 40, uh, 74. 47? 74. And as I, as I said before, so obviously green model means death guard. That, this is the tally man. Here's your last Death Guard model for the for the um, magazine. Just zoom in there so you can see. So obviously his body there. He's holding like a abacus. So he's got a plasma gun. Okay, he's got a plasma pistol. Sorry. Um, so yeah, fairly nice model. Again, we'll be adding to my Death Guard. So my Death Guard blogs will start up again. Let's zoom back out. And then on to issue 74. Straight into the uh, talking about the Taliban. Um, now, I'm not sure what he does. I will find out, I'm sure, when I start playing games with him. Um... But yeah, it tells you the information about him. Um, and a bit more details. Um, moves on to talking about Sergeant Cronus. Now he is um, an ultra-rain tank commander. Um, 
Now he's quite special in when your vehicles get destroyed, he can, I believe he can disembark. I'm not 100% sure. He used to be able to anyway. Um, showing you about the armory of um, the Ultramarines. So you've got your Land Raiders, your Whirlwinds, your Vindicators and Predators. Um, and they're the specific ones that he's actually commanded. Um, moving on to Space Marine Suppressors. Now, again, I really like these models, but I hate these stands that they're on. They, they just, they're flimsy, they'll snap. Um, so I've got some of these, but they're not built because I haven't built the bases. And it's got auto cannons. Auto cannons are awesome in this edition of 40k. Um, talking about their, their equipment, what they have, uh, some of the rules they do. Moving on to Eliminators. Now these are heavy sniper rifles that they carry. Um, again, look really nice models. And I do have some of these nice, really big sniper rifles that they're carrying. How to build the Tallyman. It's quite simple, that one. And painting him. Um, so there, he, they've painted him base colours there. Obviously working him up. There's quite a lot of pages for this how to paint. So I suppose it is um, the full, uh, instead of being in parts, this is the full thing this time. Um, so power in numbers, which is the, the uh, rules for the new mission. And the Tallyman Cometh, which is the uh, the actual mission itself, then rules for the Tallyman. Um, now... Talking about Citadel miniatures, so you got Ultramarines, Terrain, and Death Guard. Um, so this is the th three things you get in these. Now onto the back. So over the next four issues, you get a Space Ring Repulsor. Um, yeah, I I should have had mine by now, but because it's been late, I haven't. Um, now. As I've said before, most of these issues, um, the Space Marine stuff has been going to my nephew. That won't be. I'll be keeping that. So, there you go. So, yeah, there you go. Um, up to issue 74. Uh, six more to go. I was hoping we would be finished by March, but I don't think we're going to be. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I've got the last of my Death God. I'm going to get, get them painted and get them put in their box and I will have a complete army, which would be nice. Um, I haven't got many armies that I've painted every model for, but Death Guard is definitely going to be one of them. Um, like I said, one of the spawn will probably not be get built or might get put into a different army, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, if these, these videos have been any good to you, um, please feel free to subscribe, uh, throw me a like and please comment. Um, now I won't be doing Mortal Realms, uh, I've stated this before, um, just I'm not, I don't want to start a new army for the year, I really want to work on getting my previous armies painted, um, which I am, I'm, I'm painting fairly well, um, and it'll, the painting's going to get better next couple of weeks, or next few months or so, because I've got time off work, um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that is unboxing of issues uh, 71, 72, 73 and 74 of 40k Conquest. Um, uh, hopefully see you not too far away um, with my Death Guard blogs starting up again. And hopefully another unboxing. I will see you soon. Bye bye.